What's up, guys? We gotta say grace. We're having a pot pie for dinner or for breakfast. Hold on. Let me see. I almost said peace out, guys. Okay, let's say grace. Dear God, bless this food and bless this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. So I have a soup. I went live yesterday. Thank you, L Dog, and your brother for you guys coming and singing in my live, guys. Go check out L Dog on YouTube, guys. He is um, a music person coming out with some music, guys. Check him out on YouTube. L Dog, I think that's his channel's name. Guys, check him out on there. He'll be in my YouTube uh, live yesterday, guys. I only went live for like an hour. But thank you for coming. Thank you, Drama TV, for coming. Shout out to you. Thank you, David, for coming, guys. Shout out to David. Um, but guys, I'm going live on Friday afternoon or Friday night at 9 o'clock. So it'll be good for my Filipino fans that are waking up at that time. That's 9 o'clock in the morning for them. 9 o'clock at night for us in the U.S. And for Gio and Evan and the Rat and Aaliyah, all the people who are like, you go live when I'm in school. So um, I'm going to go live so you guys can uh, um, you guys can watch my live. And then it'll just be to play some games and stuff, guys. Not for money because I'm broke, but definitely just to get to know people better. Like maybe we'll do a Q&A live or something on StreamYard so you guys can come in and hit the link. Probably be for like two or three hours. So get ready for that live Friday night. Me and Princess are going live, guys. Um, and, uh, come talk to me, guys. Come ask your questions or whatever. If you're from my TikTok and you're new, come talk to me. Don't be shy, guys, okay? I'm the sweetest person ever. Like, I try to be really nice and treat people the way I want to be treated. But anyways, guys, today we're having a chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. And you know what's really funny? I bought these pot pies for my mom and dad and me. They didn't eat any because they don't really like them anymore. I'm only eating them because they were a dollar and they're not that good. And they're vegan pot pies. I don't know how they're vegan pot pies. Unless it's like wheat flour instead of white flour. I don't know. That's just what the box said. So I was like, okay, I'll take it. Sorry, I'm playing with some quarters right here. All right, guys. So we need to talk about something that I think... I don't want to make fun of her, but I want to talk about it because it's everywhere on social media. The Gorilla Glue girl, okay? She put Gorilla Glue in her hair because she thought it was hairspray because they looked the same. I don't know how she thought they looked the same. Honey, how did you not see the Gorilla on the front of the case? And now she has went viral everywhere. People are making fun of her. People are doing TikToks about her. She made it on Wendy Williams. She made it on Good Morning America. She is viral. She's made it on TMZ. I'm like, so I just got to do something stupid to go viral. Are you kidding me? But she damaged her scalp. Her follicles might never grow back, okay? There are plastic surgeons who said that they could do it to help her, like put the hair transplant, but it would be very painful. And she's always going to have that smell. And she like, might have to always wear wigs for real, for real. Because a lot of black women don't wear wigs because they have to. They wear it because they like it. Some have to, some don't, or weaves or whatever. Don't get me into the hair stuff because I don't really know about it, but I know a little bit about it. So anyways, that made me think of a story about what happened to me one time, guys. And this is because I can't read. My reading's not that good. So that is my excuse for that. This girl had no excuse. She can read. She's a mother. So she knew how to read, okay? Unless she was just doing this for fame, who knows? But I don't think so. The way that she looked in those pictures, it looked like she was really in a lot of pain. I don't think it was for fame. Okay. So... I think I was seven years old. Seven years old. Um, I remember being seven. I remember being seven. And I added a little bit of salt. It needs a little bit of salt. Um, I know I shouldn't be eating salt, but anyways. Excuse me. I was seven years old. And I remember my mom and my brother were downstairs. I was upstairs and I just got out of the shower and whatever. And you know how you lotion yourself down and blah, 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 blah. And I, was, I promise you, it looked like it was in a container like this, the lotion. And um, the lotion was in a container like this. This is sunscreen lotion. But it was in a container like this. I didn't see what it said on it, right? So I ended up like squeezing some in my hand, rubbing my hands together, rubbing my face, rubbing my arms, rubbing my hair. And... I remember it smelled really weird. I was like, why does it smell like that? Why does it smell like that? But I was just like, whatever. Maybe that's some old type of lotion. So I remember coming downstairs and I'm whatever. We're about to eat dinner. And I remember like 
I saw hair and I'm like, why do I see hair? Like, what the heck is going on? And then I remember I just like put my hair in through my hair and my hair just fell out, a glump of hair. And then more and more and more. And I'm freaking out, screaming to my mom, bloody murder. Oh my God, I have cancer. Da -da -da -da. Like, you know, because back then when you're a little kid, you think that if your hair falls out, you have cancer because that's what they show you in the movies. Not knowing that there are steps that happen before your hair falls out. But I was freaking out. My brother's laughing because he thinks I look funny. My mom is like... Matthew, what did you do? So I take her upstairs, run upstairs, show her what I use. And she's like, sweetie, this is Nair. And I'm like, what the heck is Nair? Nair is for women who are trying to get hair off their legs and their face and their arms. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then she explained it to me. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Am I in, like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, I'm freaking out. And then having a panic attack. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay. Calm down, calm down, calm down. So then... My brother, my older brother, he was kind of being nice, but he was kind of being a jerk. I was like, you're so dumb. And then he like literally like made me sit in his lap and took a, t a wet towel and rubbed my scalp, right? Rubbed my scalp. And it was burning and I'm screaming and it stinks. And he's like rubbing off all my hair that is left. And then I'm literally like, it's bleeding. I'm like in pain. I'm crying. My brother's still laughing. My little brother's still laughing. My mom is like, well, you should have listened. You should have asked me before you did that, you know? And then I'm like, I thought it was lotion. And then I remember, guys, I was so embarrassed. Thank God I was not in high school at that time. Thanks God I was homeschooled. We had to go to church and I had to wear a hat. And then my mom's telling people the story. And people are like, oh, my God, you're so, I feel so sorry for you, you poor baby. And then she tells me about this story about this girl that did the same thing. And her hair never grew back. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I'm going to be bald for the rest of my life. I look ugly bald. Okay, there's no way that I would ever be bald again. I think I look ugly. But thank God my hair grew back. But there's still scars on my scalp. You can still see where my scalp looks burned. Like there's certain scars on my scalp. If I'm being burned, like it's faded in certain areas. And the doctor was like, just put this cream on his help, you know, and just watch it and see what happens. And if the hair comes back, good. If it doesn't come back, then he just will be bald until he can afford a transplant. And thank God it came back. My hair grows so fast. Like, I just, the last time I cut my hair was when I was in Texas, and it's almost growing back. Like, I need to cut my sides again. And, and I want this to grow out again, but I got to cut my sides again. And so the last time I got my hair cut was literally, like, I left December 15th. I got my hair cut, like, I think the 14th, the day before I left. But... So I know how she feels. She feels really stupid. Like, really, really stupid that she did that. And now she wants to sue... Gorilla Glue. It's not their fault, honey. You did it. Mm -mm. That wouldn't even stand in court. What you need to do is you need to work with Gorilla, Gorilla Glue. And y'all need to make a campaign together. And you need to go on TV and tell people what not to do. And you can get money from that. They can endorse you and make you their spokesperson. Because that right there will probably be on uh, Saturday Night Live. Will be on everybody's meme. That went viral. Everybody was doing that thing. You're going to see people want to be that for Halloween this year. There's always one person that goes viral. or something stupid. Always. Or something cool. But. I went viral a few times on TikTok. Like, really viral. Because I did this dance in my blue shirt. And this shirt. I did a dance in this shirt. With some flowers. And I was super, super big. Probably weighing 6.30 something. And I went viral because I did this dance. Like I was like side to side, side to side. And everybody was trying it all over the world. It was called Try the Something Person Dance. The flower dance by so-and-so. By me. But. I'm still waiting. I had a fan who said that he was going to make me some shirts. I don't know what happened to him because he never responded back to me. I'm thinking about getting a P.O. box, guys. I need a price and see how much it is. I might do that tomorrow with drama. So you guys can start sending me stuff again. Because I might get some shirts made and then send them to you guys through my P.O. box. Because I really want to send stuff to you guys. And I like when you guys send stuff to me. Like, I still have my thing from Geo. I still have my thing from a national Pardo. I still have my thing from some other people. Um, so does Jama. So I like when we get stuff, guys. 
So, send me, send me, send me, send me. But it was really nice because I got a mask. I got a bracelet. Um, what else did I get? I want to do some shirts, guys. I really want to work hard on my shirts because I want to make some new shirts, guys, for you so you guys can see my shirt. Bonfire. I don't want to work with Bonfire anymore because they're really not even working with me. So, you know, and another thing that I want to talk about, and I might do a part two to this because time is starting to run out. Why, when people want to work with other companies and they're a growing YouTube channel, how come that company pays them no mind, like nothing? But as soon as they hit 1 million followers or 1 million subscribers or they go viral from something else, then boom, 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 boom. That is so messed up. I think that companies need to work with smaller channels to help them grow and it can still bring them some type of like fame and some type of like, hey, this product's out there. Like I've tried to reach out to a lot of companies and no one will reach out to me. The only person that ever reached out to me before I even started YouTube was the coldest water bottle. And I don't even know if my code works because I haven't heard nothing from that. And that was almost three, four years ago, three years ago, because when I started TikTok was three years ago. So I don't even know if my code works. No one's ever bought one of my water bottles, so I don't even know. My code is, you go to the coldestwaterbottle.com, use my code WATERBREAK, and you get free shipping. And then I get 15% of all sales. So I don't know if it works because no one's told me that they've tried it. People have always said, when I get paid, I'll buy it, and they haven't bought it. So I don't know. But I just think that that's messed up. Like, I've reached out to people like, I've reached out to... Crystal Light. Crystal Light says we're not doing any sponsors right now. I've reached out to Peach Tea or the Tea. They're like, haven't really responded to me. Polar Tropical is the only one who really responded to me. But, and that was cool. But, like, I want to work with people. I want to do collabs with people. I think that would be so much fun. Um... I love this Popeye. It's really good and it's healthy. But guys, get ready. We're going to the Philippines. We're going to do a big mukbang, guys. Like you, I hope you guys, please let that video go viral, guys. Because I've not had a viral video since that McDonald's video. That's my biggest viral video, guys. So please let that video go viral. Because that would be so amazing if we can get that viral, guys. Even if it's like 6,000 likes or 1 million likes. It's going to be the world's biggest mukbang ever. I'm going to try to do it. With a bunch of Jama's family, my family now that feels like my family, that's Jama's family. And then it's going to be a bunch of friends and stuff. And it's going to be right at Jama's house in the Philippines. And it's going to be really cool, guys. Or outside. And we're just going to eat. We're going to eat a lot of food. I'm going to be trying a lot of new food that I've never tried before. New Filipino food that I've never tried before. And it'll be really cool. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace, guys.